I kind of have a problem. Anytime I go for a walk, I can't help but pick things up. And one thing about Canada is there's a lot of oak trees, which means there's a lot of acorns to pick up. Let's germinate some of these guys, hey? Coming close to spring, perfect time. It seems like I'm not the only one that likes to collect them. If I wasn't living in a tiny little apartment in the middle of a city, I probably would have collected a couple of bucket loads, but I had to settle for a couple of dozen just because I didn't have the space. Now what I'm doing here is a simple water test for the acorns. Any that float are no good to germinate. After that I just put them in a plastic bag for a couple of weeks and I definitely waited too long but here's what they looked like. I decided to try a little experiment and I definitely don't recommend doing this, especially with oak trees because they have really deep long tap roots. But I used toilet paper rolls, cut the edge and then folded them in to try and make a little container or plant pot, I guess you could call it. And then yeah, I just put the germinated acorns straight into it. If you can't get a hold of any really deep pots, a lot of people just use Pringles cans and they just poke a few holes in the bottom for drainage. But anyway, here they are shortly after being planted, and boy, they are absolutely boosting. I kept them inside for a few weeks, just until it warmed up enough. They got indirect light, but as you can see, the toilet paper rolls got quite moldy and interesting, so all types of things growing on them. It didn't actually affect the oak trees in the end, and I was able to transplant them and yeah I put them in a bigger pot still you want it deeper than this but these are the only pots that I had um, on me at the time it didn't actually damage the roots of the oak trees as I was transplanting them because the toilet paper literally just peeled off like a banana um, yeah so that was the one good thing about it now being an Aussie I have a lot of knowledge in terms of trees from Australia or the southern hemisphere really but when it comes to the northern hemisphere I don't have too much of an idea so if you know what type of oaks these are let me know in the comments also I noticed once they got older you'll see it in the next clip um, some of them developed curly leaves and I'm sure it's some type of disease but a lot of them were fine so I didn't really worry about about it too much and you can see them here progressing nicely. This is still the same tree as the last clip. And here it is again in a month or so after that. And that's the third lot of growth. And it was amazing because I was able to give a lot of the trees away to my friends and family. I actually planted that particular oak, here it is again. Um, at my in-laws place along with a few other ones. So we'll be able to track the growth of these over the years You can see a nice size comparison there with my hand The leaves got a little bit burnt over the hot summer, but for the most part it had a really good growing year When I planted it I mixed a little bit of compost in with the natural soil just to make it a little more fertile to give it a nice boost and obviously covered it well with mulch because that's important for soil moisture, soil biology and insulation. And then I made a little retaining wall just because it was on a steep slope. That's just to let the water soak in. Otherwise the water just slides straight down the hill, even the mulch as well. So it's just designed to last a couple of years and then the roots will expand all over the hillside. And this is it one year after collection. So it's a pretty cool feeling to know that you collected it yourself, germinated it, and now it's a little seedling in the ground somewhere. Now we're gonna backtrack a few months and here's me just planting a few other ones in the same area.
for the remaining oak seedlings that weren't planted or given away. I used a wintering technique where you bury them in the pot just before the first frost and the soil insulates the root zone um, and saves it from that cold air temperature. And that way in spring, you can just pull them out like that and no roots are damaged whatsoever. And then after that, you can either keep growing them in their pots or you can safely plant them in the ground when you want to. I know there's a bunch of YouTube videos on how to grow oak seedlings and whatnot. I just thought I'd give you an update on what I've been doing over the last year. And the goal is eventually to have my own property. That way we will be able to track the growth of many trees that I plant on my own land. So that's the dream. I'd love to be able to document trees growing over decades and share that with you guys. In the meantime, I'll post what I can and I'll do my best to update you guys on any trees that I've germinated, whether it's been in Australia or Canada. Here's my current batch of acorns. There's a few different varieties in this one and they're currently in the fridge about to be germinated for spring. If you'd like a video of these acorns, and the second year growth of the oak seedlings, let me know in the comments. I also want to say thank you everyone for 1000 subs and thank you for watching this video if you made it this far. See you in the next one.